women and weight. Nearly 42% of Americans are obese, according to the CDC. And now some fascinating new research is revealing the differences in our brains and the way they're wired, and it can impact when and how much we eat. You read that very straightly. Like, yes, you, didn't, yeah. like you haven't known that like all I'm along. Like, duh. <laughs> Dr. Roshni Raj is a gastroenterologist and associate professor at NYU Langone. Dr. Raj, good morning. Good morning. I feel like women have been saying this. We sort of know that when we eat, it is a, there's an emotional component. But now right. we actually have some research to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I think it's great to have real scientific validation, yeah. and that's what this study is providing, because these are really advanced types of MRIs, which not only look at pictures of the brain and structure, but also function and connectivity of the brain. And it shows that in people who are obese, uh, men and women, by the way, yeah. there are changes in the structure and function of your brain. The signaling pathways are different, which leads to more things like food cravings or food addiction. Uh, but they did find distinct differences between men and women, women tending to have more of the emotional triggers mm -hmm. and things like anxiety and depression, early childhood trauma playing a big role. Mm -hmm. Whereas for men, it seemed to be more about sensations of hunger and fullness in the gut. Mm -hmm. But it's just very fascinating because, you know, we're talking about a, a condition that affects over 40% of the U.S. Yeah. population, right? Obesity. And so anything that helps us really understand what's triggering it and how that's different for men and women, I think is very valuable. Yeah. We're yeah. kind of smiling about it because, yeah. you know, women are always like, why is it so easy for my husband yeah. to lose weight? He yeah. eats yeah. sugarless gum and yeah. Yeah. 10 pounds the next yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, does this does this study shed any light on that thing that we kind of feel instinctively yeah. like it's harder for women? Absolutely, because in this study, what they showed was for women, the reward centers in their brain. So the things that, you know, make us, if we're stressed or upset and we want to get something to make us feel better, they're much more heightened in terms of relationship to food than they are for men. Mm -hmm. So for women, they really do, you know, if they're feeling more anxious or stressed, they're really going to look for the food. And in this study, they showed really highly processed foods tend to mm -hmm. attract women more. Whereas for men, it's much more of a kind of physical sensation, not so much of an emotional comfort-seeking behavior. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, food addiction and, and all of these overeating habits really happen for all people, men and women who are obese. But it seems like it's very different what's triggering it in women compared to mm -hmm. men. What did the study reveal about the, the reasons that men put on weight, the reasons that men are overweight? So we, we all have hormones that govern whether we feel hungry or full. And for men, these seem to have, play a more dominant role. And also just different sensations in their gut, literally. So feelings of indigestion or hunger, those are things that really motivated men more than for women. For women, it was more of these emotional comfort-seeking behaviors. So what do you do? So, okay, you did brain scans, which is fascinating. Yeah. You can actually physically see the difference yes. of, of how your brain changes. Yeah. So does that mean to have sustainable weight loss, you have to re- jigger how your brain is working? Absolutely. And, and I think that's the point here. This is not a static thing like, oh, my brain's messed up. What? Am, yeah, there's nothing to do. You can actually rewire your brain, which I think is fascinating. Yeah. And there are many ways you can do that. And there are things about addressing emotional triggers that could be through medications, you know, addressing things like dopamine or serotonin or things like therapy, you know, different types of behavioral therapies can help as well. But there's absolutely things you can do. And I think what I like about the study is it shows us this is not all about just sheer willpower. And there's yeah. a lot of judgment, you know, associated yeah. with obesity. If you're looking at someone's MRI of their brain and it's different, you realize there's a lot going on there that they don't necessarily have immediate control over. Sure. But there are things that they can do to really rewire that. Cool. That's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Dr. Raj, thank you. Thank, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Mr. Roker, what you got? Al? Oh, he's having a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> you know what? Come on. That was so... That's you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. You need to rewire your brain, Al. <laughs> what brain? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.